I didn't realize how big these guys had gotten. Oh, Melt. So Melt, we did a, we did a deep dive. And uh, I linked the, the deep dive video in the description. And it was me and Ken just talking and uh, somebody had connected us. And I was like, oh, it's a good project. You know, it looks like it's this is over a year ago and nothing really happened with them. You know, they just never, nothing did. And I reached out to Ken Oling, the uh, CEO. And I said, hey man, you want to be part of this, this giveaway? He's like, yeah. He goes, have you seen what we've been doing? And I said, yeah, I've got the emails. It's, you know, it's, it's great. It looks like you guys are building. He's like, yeah, let's talk. We're supposed to have a 15 minute meeting. We, we talked for over two hours. And I finagled him to give away uh, 20,000 meld tokens and also the NFT banker and NFT. But that's not the big story. The big story is this. First of all, what's meld? It's very simple. It's a DeFi project. It's not a CeFi. Who screwed us in 2022? CeFi screwed us. DeFi did just fine. So it's a DeFi protocol for loans. Get your cash, earn yields on your crypto while it's in there to pay off the loan like I called it, it's a DeFi protocol or loan protocol that pays itself off. You pay back the loan, things that are left over, and you earn all the time. And before anybody was like, oh, but what about, you know, not your keys, not your crypto. You get a loan, you keep your keys. Again, who screwed us in 2022? CeFi, not DeFi. And that's what they're, that's what they're moving forward to. And then, so they're giving away 20,000 of those meld tokens, which aren't worth much now, but they're going to be, I think. And then you're going to get a bank manager NFT. We're going to give away three of those. What did that, what does that do? You get to boost your APY, lower interest, early access. Because what's the early access to? A bank. They're going to become a neo bank. Actually, let me just show you that first. That's, that's the most appealing thing. So MELD is, becomes an EMI to bring fiat and crypto to the masses by becoming essentially a neo bank. What is that? I'll get to that in a second. Let me just tell you this. This is what's been happening the last 30 days with them. They got a partnership with, with Avalanche. They got a partnership with Multichain. So you can roll across from different bridges. And that's the only one they're going to need as far as EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine. They've got a uh, partnership with Arculus, which is they're going to be able to give you your Mel debit card because they're going to become one of these neo banks. There's a partnership with Cornucopias. I like these guys too. Uh, these two gentlemen here. It's a good game. It's actually got a working project on Cardano. And then this is what I was trying to do. They're going to be a neobank. What the heck is that? First of all, what's an EMI? What's MELD? Why are they attaining this? An EMI is an electronic money institute or neobank. It's usually a fintech startup that operates on a more limited license than a traditional bank. So it's not really a bank bank traditionally wise, but how is it different? It's a great question. Here's how it's different. You ever heard of fractional reserve banking? I bet you have, especially if you're in crypto. So the traditional banks offer fractional reserve banking. They take your money, keep a fraction, try to withdraw it. Well, they invest. Well, 2008, they didn't do so hot. So how does an EMI use your deposits? With some variation, you can deposit in a savings account or spend it from a checking account. And they don't do fractional reserve banking. The key is that depositors are used are often backed by a full reserve. The key is that deposits are yours, often backed by a full reserve. And depending on the jurisdiction, they are insured as well. And what Mel just did is they got an EMI or as a neobank in 146 countries. Because neobanks don't offer the same debt tools as traditional banks, they typically focus on moving money for customers. That's, that's all I really want in my banks anyhow. One of the primary value proposition of a neobank is convenience. That's what they want. That's what I want. Number of neobanks has exploded. And here's just a few, like Chime. And Chime, you can see, is this. This is a neobank, essentially. It's not a physical location. Those are dying anyhow. All they do is they store your money and they move it around. Now, depending on the jurisdiction, depending on what's on the EU or the United States, it's FDIC insured or whatever it is in the EU. I don't know. I'm going to get Ken on and we're going to talk about that because that's a big thing moving forward. So yes, these guys are doing pretty big things. And here's a, 